I think well. Um, you know, it's, it's just reps. Uh, you know, this is something they've been doing for a while together. So, uh, with Doris and Josh, you know, even, even Matt sometimes talk about something that they've done before. Hey, let's do it like this, like this. You know, I'm kind of playing catch up in a lot of those things. But uh, banking reps uh, and then banking reps watching uh, what Josh is doing, what he's telling guys, how he's doing it. Uh, those are all very important things and things you need in training camp to, uh, uh, you know, to get everybody on the same page and see defenses, see routes, see how guys are in and out of breaks, see all those same this, the same way, see all those things the same way, and it's it's important. It's it's, uh, it's going really well. You mentioned that Josh has the established relationship with Ken as his quarterback's coach. Now that he's the offensive coordinator, what's your sense? Maybe coming in from the outside, what the level of communication is in, in the play calling department. How is that transition going from where you sit? I mean, I, I think it's as good of a relationship and communication, seeing the field the same way, uh, knowing the play caller's intent. Uh, with those two guys, it's, it's as good as I've ever ever been around. Uh, it's, it's impressive uh, to know the, the confidence that Doris has in Josh, uh, the confidence Josh has in the play call, uh, but then also being able to see something Hey, I, I see it this way. I'm going to change it up. I'm going to do this. Uh, it's 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 really cool. It's fun to watch. Cool to cool to be behind the scenes and, and get to see what's really going on. How was it for you working with Ken? It's great. It's really good. Uh, we see it a lot of the same ways. Um, you know, we have some differences in background and just kind of uh, different different schemes and how we've done things before. But uh, you know, this I've I've told him I'm I'm fully converted. Uh, I love I love what they got going on. And it's it's really cool, uh, and uh, I'm I'm definitely uh, all in, and I love it. It's it's a great offense, uh, it's a great operation, just the way things are, are, are going, and uh, I love it. I'm all in. Case, how, did, how does it work for you? You're a competitive guy. You've earned starting jobs. You've played playoffs. You come here. It's established. I mean, Josh is the quarterback. So, what's your mind coming in here, and how has that? adapting to knowing your role, I guess, coming in and still keeping that competitive nature worked for you this year? Yeah, I've, I've always treated, um, you know, my job as being ready to play, being ready to go out and get first downs, turn them into drives, get them touchdowns and win games. So that's, that's how I prepare, no matter what. Um, I literally, I think I've been in almost every situation you can be in, competing for a third, wind up starting a full year, being a, you know, the franchise guy, being a backup, getting pulled in for a couple games and back out. Uh, so I've, I've been kind of all over the place uh, when it comes to a lot of that. Uh, you know, for me, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get myself to where I'll be able to drive this really cool sports car that Josh is driving right now. Uh, if, you know, if something happens, maybe it's shoelace, you know, Comes untied or something. Uh, <laughs> I love Buffalo, man. This place is awesome. Are you kidding me? These guys are crazy, and it's it's cool. But uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's like a sports car. I'm trying to get to where I can drive it a little bit, and then hand the keys back over uh, if 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 need to be. You've been in some pretty rabid fan bases, Minnesota, Cleveland. This is happening here. You saw Friday night what it was like. You saw the softball game. What it's like. What's that like for you to kind of experience Bill's mafia? I mean, it's it's unlike anything I've ever been around. Uh, it's awesome. Uh, just like the offense, fully in. I mean, I'm I'm fully in Buffalo as well. We love it. We love uh, being there in Orchard Park. Um, I'm I'm full on the, the the blue cheese train as well. I mean, it's it's yeah. I'm I'm all about it, man. So uh, it's it's been great. Uh, the reception has been tremendous. Uh, these fans are passionate. They care. Um, I can't wait for a game experience. You know, I've I have been here, I've played here, but uh, uh, to be a part of, uh, you know, wearing, you know, Bill's colors will be will be special. How do you think Stefan has matured, maybe not even you know, on the field and maybe off the field from your time together in Minnesota to now? Because he came here with a rep, and at least it appears anything that makes sense. Yeah, I mean he's, uh, I mean he's he's Steph. You know, he's still my guy. Um, I think for the first month we would like see each other and kind of be like, this, this is kind of weird, like we're back together. It's, you know, we, we had such a cool time uh, in Minnesota. Um, but yeah, to see him, uh, the growth he's, he's had, uh, you know, on and off the field as a leader, uh, as a person, um, 
you know, it's it's really cool to see. Um, I mean, he's he's big time, and, and uh, he's he's doing all the right things on and off the field. So I'm I'm uh, proud of him and excited to, to play with him again. What is the biggest difference that you notice in Steph? Is it more of a leader? Is it you know what what stands out? Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think of something silly, but uh, you know, I don't know. Um, ask me later. If, I, if I'm right, I think you were in Minnesota for Dalvin's rookie year. Mm-hmm. Now James, rookie year here, right? I mean, you don't want to always compare guys, but even personalities, anything like strike you between the two, the way they play, anything? They're they're very similar. Uh, they very they. And, and you see flashes of it. It's it's hard when we haven't had too many live reps of, of just kind of running in the zone, the back cuts, the you know hitting hitting powers backside, you know the the pin and pull type stuff. Um, but there there are some flashes of down there that uh, that I definitely see in James. And uh, to see him out of the backfield too, catching the ball. Um, I think I think he's got uh, he, he's he's got a little something to him, and I'm excited to to get able to be able to show what he can do. As Jameson's kind of being ran back up here after this, and really hard camp, and worked a lot, a lot with him. Mm-hmm. What can you say about him as a receiver? Matt joked that he's uh, he's a salty vet. Uh, what's it what's he like in the huddle, and what does he offer to? Him? You know the thing I like about James. I know he's a little banged up early, but man, he is—he is Mr. Consistent. Uh, he's going to be where he's supposed to be um, when he's supposed to be there. Uh, and when he's not, we talk about it in the meeting room and we learn from it. And he's got it. I mean, it's—and that's—that's what practices are for. That's what training camps are for. You know, if we were out here doing perfect, you know, making every great read and great route, great catch. I mean, why are, why are we even doing it? So I think. Um, being able to work through some of those tough looks, hard, you know, hard uh, pressures or coverages that our defense gives us, being able to work through those and, and talk through them and be on the same page, just like we talked about with Doris and Joe and Josh and Matt. Um, you know, the receivers are an extension of that because we give them so much freedom to do a lot of stuff. So, uh, man, he has jumped right in and uh, hadn't missed a beat. Uh, Mr. Consistent, that's that's what he'll be throughout the year, I guarantee it. I thought he's had a very, very solid camp. Um, I'm, I'm really excited to throw to him in the preseason. Uh, I hope I get to. Um, he, uh, he's a guy I, d- I don't really, I know a little bit about his story the last couple of years, not so, you know more personal than it is uh, you know what he's gone through. I know it's been some injuries and stuff, uh, but man, he's solid. Uh, you know, I, I have the utmost faith in him looking out and seeing, as a quarterback, I always say, you look out at your receivers and you get this little tingly feeling with guys that you want to throw the ball to, and he's one of those guys. Uh, I get the tingly feeling. When you said you told Dorsey what he was doing, how quickly was that once you got here? Um, it's like I say, it's reps. You know, the more, the more reps I've gotten, the more comfortable I've gotten. Um, they put us in really tough situations here at practice. Sean does a great job of, of creating situations where we have to overcome a lot. So, uh, you know, making practice so hard, some of those, you know, scrimmage-like, game-like situations where you're just in a rhythm, you're rolling, you're operating, um, you know. But it's, it's gotten better every day. You know, some days, you know, you learn a lot. Some days you're learning a little, you know, but you're, every day you're just stacking up days and keeping building. So. Uh, today I feel better than I did yesterday, and you know, hopefully tomorrow I feel better than I did today. So you know, continuing to stack those days up uh, has been really important. Case okay, so as a guy who's willing to dress up as a fan and get autographs from the quarterback yourself, how much fun and how easy has it been for you to fit into that room personality-wise when the starter is you know Mr. Practical Joke of this team to begin with? Josh? Yeah. Mr. Practical Joke or Mr. Maturity? <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's awesome. Uh, I'm having so much fun playing football right now. Um, you know, I know training camps. Uh, this is my 11th NFL training camp, and you just—I mean—you never know when it's gonna be your last. But man, I'm enjoying the heck of it, the heck out of it right now. Um, that quarterback room—it's—it's it's incredible. I'm having so much fun. Uh, you know, I was trying to think of how to get Josh some somehow, some way. I got just about everybody else. Josh uh, figured it out pretty quick, uh, but. Uh, 
yeah, it's just it's a lot of fun uh, playing football, um, and it's it's fun playing with those guys. Pace, just like you've been stacking reps, Penn State doing the same thing. So in the college periods of practices, how do you think he's been doing? It's great, great. I mean, I, I'll say as a quarterback, and I'm. I'm sure he, he would say the same thing. As a quarterback, I come off of every practice, every scrimmage, every game with like two or three I want back. Um, you know, you hope they're just balls maybe you missed on the right side or maybe something happened to protection that, you know, worked out, you know, but uh, every every game he wants some back. And I, I'm, I'm sure he's the same way, but he's he has done really well. Uh, it's like you said, it would we're trying to see everything the same way uh, and then go back in the film room and talk about it and learn from it and grow and move on. So I think he's doing a great job. How special is, is it being here than uh, any other previous teams that you played? There's a different feel, um, you know, here. Uh, the offense is special. Uh, they're doing stuff here that nobody else is doing, and that's, that's pretty cool to be a part of. Um, you know, 17 is a big reason for that. So. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying being a part of it, uh, trying to trying to add as much as I can. Uh, you know, my experiences, my my uh, you know things that I've done and, and, and been a part of and done well. But uh, but yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Okay, so do you think the younger guys not having the hitting in the extra preseason games? Uh, do you think the guys uh, does it hurt the younger guys by not having more time? Uh, you know, yes and no. Um, <clears throat> you know, there are there are a lot of reps. I, I still think the percentages of the reps, you know, I think teams are still getting smarter with, with their starters. So I think the young guys still are getting a bunch of reps. Uh, Sean and his staff, I mean, they're doing a great job of splitting up reps and even towards the end of practice letting some of us go and get some reps with the younger guys, development periods. Um, so it's... That's kind of been the name of the league for I, I, since I've been in it forever. Is if, if you're young, you're not going to get many reps. I mean, I, as a backup during the season, I've played games where I haven't practiced a, a actual play that we ran ever. Or you know, I just sat in the back and watched it. You know, maybe pretended to do it on my own. So that's as a young player, you have to learn how to play. Uh, you know. With without many reps in practice sometimes, so that's just, just kind of how it goes. I was able. Uh, how, how was Ken Dorsey able to create, you know, just just be innovative with the different variations with personnel? Um, he's smart as heck, man. <laughs> uh, you know, I think uh, his call sheet, man, it's it's like a beautiful mind, man. It's, he's he's got it up there, and you know, like I said, we're still trying to trying to. <clears throat> see it the same way on, on every page, but man, he, he does a great job of, of getting guys lined up uh, for not only the best play possible, but for the best matchups possible. And I think going forward as we start scheming and game planning, I'm really excited to see what, what comes down the pipe. Yeah. Thanks everybody. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.